70. We'll see how it sounds. This is our 95 C Ray 230 DA. Um, drive. It's got a 17 pitch prop on it right now. Uh, trim tabs. It's a TI trailer. Um, bearing buddies, dual axle. That's the whole thing. I'll just kind of do a walk around. It's a little too jumpy. The boat's in pretty dang good shape. Um, it's immaculate for a 95. It's only got 130 hours on it. Stainless steel rail is in good shape. It's got one little nick right here. Not too bad, about the size of my fingernail. Little marine tax, and there was one more. Nick, I think, was oh, right here. Same thing, about the size of my finger. Mike, you want me to take a Those are the only two nicks on the boat. Um, it's got a surge brake on the trailer. Um, the only thing with surge brake, it needs this fitting repaired. Um, other than that, it used to work fine. Yeah, trailer, bang buddies on the wheels. Check out the interior here. I'm not making everybody sick. All the seats are in excellent condition. White. This is the only nick right there. Um, and it's been repaired so it doesn't spread. It's got the carpet kit. Speakers. This is the cockpit. It's got a Pioneer stereo, Lawrence fish finder, and then all the, the usual gauges, switches, bilge pump, bilge fan. These are the controls for the um, for the trim tabs and the indicator for the trim tabs. Throttle, of course. That seat also in very good condition. The boat has two different tops that come with it. Actually, three different tops that come with it. There's the hatch. This is the anchor locker in here. It's got a little fitted spot for the anchor in there. is the step to go below deck. And then down in the cabin. This of course is the 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 bow area where the table drops down and this fills in and people can sleep up here. It's got speakers up here as uh, down here as well. This has got a little, it's got a little sink. It's got a fresh water system. There's uh, some 12 volt recept or I'm sorry, 120 volt receptacles around the boat for when you're hooked up to shore power. Also 12 volt if you need to plug in a fan or something. It's got the sink. It's also got a single burner stove. It's a marine stove. Uses a denature alcohol. Works great. We've cooked some meals on there. It's got a built-in. Looks like a refrigerator. It's actually just a little cooler. I'm trying to. I can't get back far enough to get it, but... And then the other cool thing is below the driver area is this other little cubby over here that sleeps two more people. And it's actually pretty comfortable. I don't, I don't have the power on. I don't know if you can see. I'm about 5'9", and my feet don't touch the end when I'm laying in here. And that's... You're looking at the right underneath the driver's um, area right out there. Oh, you can see the battery disconnect switch there. And it also has a porta potty bathroom. So 
There's a little porta potty bathroom in here. It's a carry off porta potty. It's not a pump out. Um, that is the table that actually goes in this area. This table that's here right now actually goes above deck, and you could put it between. You could put that table right in here, and that also drops down. And there's a cushion for that. But uh, yeah, this even has a little a little exhaust fan in here. <laughs> And a window. But uh, that's the boat. So if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. As you can see, it's got a little circuit board panel on there. So if you wanted to add a generator or a power inverter, you could do that really easily. Um, does not have a generator right now. And the engine is actually below this deck. I'll do that in another video. I just don't have time to pull it off right now.